Hello everyone and welcome to One Man Stream. Over the last several tutorials we've been working on this mini-series and we've kind of focused on this uh, spreadsheet that you see right here. Well, one of the tabs on this spreadsheet is the teams. And this is how you put all the information in for each one of the teams on the spreadsheet. So what if there was an easier way to do this? Well, that's what we're going to focus on today. And there actually is an easier way to do this. And it's using this guy right here. This is a form uh, that you can create in Excel. And you can see that we have this line right here that says Ballard you can see that we have it highlighted here in the form. You can actually sift through the form by put, uh, pressing on these buttons that say previous and next. You can move uh, within this list in this form. And it's very handy to do. It puts all the information here in front of you and it's very, very quick. Where you're gonna look at this form and you're gonna say, well, this is pretty complicated. It probably takes a while to put that together and you probably need some coding skill. Well, no, that's not the case. In Microsoft Excel, you can uh, put together this form in just a few clicks and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in today's episode of One Man Stream. So what you're looking at right here is the form that we're gonna build and it's actually the exact same information that's in the spreadsheet. And it's very simple to build. You're gonna be really astonished by how easy this is to do. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our Excel spreadsheet that you guys that have been following the series as of late have seen an awful lot of. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, we're gonna go ahead and create this form. If you look up here on the toolbar uh, and you hit this drop down menu, it says Customize Quick Access Toolbar. And you may not have this command right here and this is actually the command we're going to use to create the form you may not have that on your toolbar so the way that you're going to add that is you're going to click on this button right here and you're going to go down here to more commands and then what I do is I'm going to click on all commands and we're going to slide down here into this these are all listed alphabetically and we're going to slide down here to the F's and this is where form is which is right here. And what you would do is you would click on it. And then when you click on it, you click add. Well, you can see that I already have it added in in my toolbar. So what you would do is you would just click on form and you would click add and it's gonna put it into your toolbar and then it's gonna be there for easy, quick access when you need it. So that's how you add it to your toolbar. The first thing that we have to do is we have to go to the home tab and we're gonna click right here where it says format as table. So we're going to click on that, and then you have all these styles that you can choose from. The one that I like is this one right here, so I'm going to click on that. And when you click on it, it's going to bring in a range, the range that, that uh, Excel thinks that you want to use. And this is A1 through M299. So let's see if that's actually the range we want to use. So we're going to grab this button, and we're going to go all the way to the top. And you can see A1 is indeed where we want to start. And you can see that this line that's kind of moving around the exterior of our data range here, that is what Excel has picked. So now we're going to go down to the bottom. And the next part is M299. And so this is column M. And this is cell, if we follow it over, 299. So that is indeed correct. You want to make sure you have this tick box checked right here that says my table has headers. At the very top of each one of these columns, uh, I have a header. So I want to make sure that's included. So I check that box and I click OK. This is how it's formatted. So we're basically done. When we go up here and we click on this Forms button, you can see where our form comes in and it is for the Teams tab. You see Teams here. You see Teams here. And you can use these buttons now to go through the information. And you can see all the information is brought in for Ballard. I'm going to show you another nifty thing that you can do here. Let's hit criteria. Now we're going to click in here and we're going to type into cells and hit enter. Okay. Now we're going to be entering the information for the cells. So now it says team name caps. So we're going to put it in all capitals and then tab. And it goes down to the next one. So you can see how easy it's going to be to put our information in now. So we now we have team name caps and mascot. So we're going to go to cells, 
Colts. And then we're going to go short name. So we're just going to put DHS in for DeSales High School. And then under mascot name, we're going to put in Colts. Head coach. And this is all the information we're going to be able to put in because the rest of these fields are drop-down box. If someone is out there watching and they know how to incorporate the drop-down list that we created on the individual pages, how to incorporate these into the forums, please drop me a line because I've kind of been scratching my head for several days trying to figure that out and I have not come up with a solution yet. Let's go ahead and click enter. And then we're going to click close. And when we come down here to the cells, and let's slide over. Now you can see the information is entered in for the cells. Well, now we have to deal with those drop down menus. So we're going to come over here and we're going to pick a mascot for the cells. And we have it right here to sells coats. Uh, the coats are brown and orange, but we're going to go ahead and just make them orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here orange and click on that. And you can see the hexadecimal color change to uh, coincide with the uh, color that we chose. And this is what's actually going to be pulled into our graphic to change the background. And then we're going to slide on over and I'm going to go ahead and pick a, uh, we're going to say this is for football season. So I'm going to click a football coach. Then I'll go ahead and his name is Ethan Atchley. And I'll go ahead and type in his name right here. And now we have added all the information for that team. You can see, however, by using this form button, it's going to make, make it much easier. So all, all we have to do is type and tab through. If you're interested in how this uh, spreadsheet was created or if you want a copy of this spreadsheet, uh, just check the description of this tutorial and it'll have a link to how you can download this uh, spreadsheet. And we've actually been working on the spreadsheet now for about a month. I've been putting out one tutorial each week explaining how we created this worksheet and how to manipulate this worksheet. And if you uh, check out the thumbnail on the right hand corner, uh, that'll take you to the beginning of that series. Now that's going to conclude this short tutorial today where we created a data form in Excel. And you saw how quick and easy that was and how it's going to streamline our data entry process. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And if you get a moment, please stop by our website. That's onemanstream.com. We have the graphics that we've created during this tutorial series along with many of the vMix UTC controllers. They're just a few dollars a piece, but it is a way that you can help support one man's stream. And as always, thank you so much.